deny ya Make all the demons quiet yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah <laughs> you still don't get it, Electro. You don't get it. Not the first PXT champion, but the fastest. Not the first rising star in PXT, but the fastest. I'm the one, Electro. Your pain, your suffering, your defeat, and your demise. And you cannot escape this reality. Now, G7, the YouTube champion, uh, last week picked up a big win against Bill Cassidy, but after the match did get assaulted by the rest of the syndicate. Uh, Mason came out to help, but sadly, it was little success it was because it was... It was the numbers game, man. The numbers game the numbers was just game. too much. Got now, with that said, we decided to uh, say screw it because his, if I didn't do this sooner or later, they were, were going to be fighting in the back. So, we are starting off the night with the Syndicate going one on one with the team of Mason and the YouTube champion G7. Now, this is going to be an interesting one. A I'm, big time I'm, shot. I'm coming to the stream now. Sorry, y'all. I was ordering DoorDash. Well, all good. Bastard, where's my pizza? No, I'm joking. <laughs> hey, I, I, I got fucking tacos, okay? Now, Mr. d -Mob, now that you're yes, here at sir. the table, how do you feel about Electro? Before we get to that, let's talk about the match that we have in front of us right now. We're going to have the Syndicate in a two-on-two -two match with Mason Dixon and the YouTube champion G7. How do you feel about the, what's going to happen here tonight? Well, last week we, we we see Mason Dixon come to the rescue of G7 when it came to Syndicate. So so could we be seeing a, like, like some sort of new alliance forming here in G7 and Mason Dixon? We could be. That's and that's a good question, but now there's a bigger question right now on the screen. Cassidy's coming out by himself. Cassidy's coming out alone, which is something I've never seen. Yeah, because I don't know. I, I picture, uh, at least not picture, but as far as I know, him and Lawler are pretty like they they've formed a connection, if you will. <laughs> uh, you know, brother, sort of, sort of like the War Machines, not really, but pretty much. They have been pretty good with each other, as far as I know. So that's why I am a little shocked to see that Cassidy is actually coming out by himself. That's the bigger surprise. Now, now the bigger surprise is somebody that we've heard, we've heard that is not competing here tonight. How, how about we take some time to talk about uh, Jacob Mr. Wildfire? Uh, so now, with that said, uh... Jacob is, uh, he is gone for a while. Um, as far as I know, we don't really have a lot of word on where his whereabouts are, but, um, as far as I know, him and Michael Wolf I, I are heard, watching very closely. That, that's just me, but I've heard devil. this. I heard he's, he was scared of something earlier tonight. That's all I'm going to say. That's all earlier I heard tonight. he was scared of something. Well, uh, now Lawler's making his way to the ring. Oh, and here comes Lawler. Now, now, there's not much I can say about this man as, uh, aside from the fact that he's had a major comeback. Oh, he has found success with the Syndicate. Let's be for real here. Because the Syndicate has... So far, the only match the Syndicate has lost was the actual ta- well actually no he wasn't even involved with that so technically he didn't suffer the loss the syndicate did but not him um but he has been making a comeback with the syndicate i honestly i think the move he made of joining them has been the biggest fucking move of his career 
But now the question I, is. I, I can agree. Now the question is, can Satoshi keep his word? Because Satoshi promised these two men gold with the syndicate. Can I can he keep his word? I don't know if Satoshi can do that. But from what I've seen, Satoshi seems to be a legitimate businessman. So maybe there's business to be held. The only thing that he's worried about is getting himself gold. Like, 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 come on now. He's a sky slimy, he's a slimy bastard. Oh, oh come on, you mob. You can't be oh. that way. I mean, here's the thing. He has a point, though, because so he he, oh. he said it. He said it last week to where he doesn't see G7 even as a threat for the YouTube Championship. He sees him as easy sheep. Not even a stepping stone. Just easy but now, sheep. Let's really. Let's talk about a man who is not really that much of a stepping stone because he did take a f to Lawler, and that's Mason Dixon. That's true. Yeah, no, Mason and Lawler went to war. Lawler came up on top, but I mean, that you couldn't take anything away from Mason. You really cannot. And now with tag team action with him and the YouTube champion who's coming out right now, how do we feel about how, how this is going to go? Honestly, G7, uh, now thinking about it, yeah, he doesn't really have a lot of success when it comes to the tag team scene, because uh, I believe a couple months when BXT started before BioWar, uh, he, him and Lawler were a tag team, not an official one, were a tag team to see who was going to get the shot to fight for uh, an opportunity for the PXT championship. Lawler and G7 came up close, so old rivalries are, are reigniting here between Lawler and G7. Now, with that said, though, uh, as we can see, <laughs> G7 so far has already seen a lot more success than Lawler, since now he is not only the YouTube champion, but is the man that easily put down C. Jill. Also, want to point out, C. Jill fucking laid Lawler out, so <laughs> you know Lawler has to be pissed about that. <laughs> I'll tell you this much: you're right there. Lawler did get laid out by C. Jill. There's not really much we can say other than that. May and maybe G7 can also take take the win for this tag team and lay out Lawler as well as Cassidy. But maybe, but just maybe, G7 can make a statement to that slimy little bastard. And here we go with the first two, and we got Dixon and uh. Cassidy, and Cassidy already... And Cassidy and Dixon are already putting on a good match. You know, I'm not oh, yeah, saying that that title looks great around G7's waist. Everyone was saying, oh, he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. Ah, I believed he could. Right now, I got to say this. Mason actually holding his own against the big man, Cassidy. I mean, Mason is a big man in his own way. <coughs> oh, yeah. I mean, if I'm correct, uh, Rocky, he was a former military man, if I'm correct, yes? If I'm correct, yeah. From what I've heard him talk about, he's a former, um, he's a former United States Marine. Yeah, no, so honestly, <laughs> picking up a man like Gasly should be like no feat for him. Or like no uh, difficulty, be. if you will, yeah. Shout out to Shane, who had some pre-obligations and couldn't be here tonight. Shane is in this studio audience. Yeah, real quick, I gotta do that. There we go. Here's... We're not gonna. We're not gonna come to say what that one is. Right now, though, Lawler tagged in and already gets the advantage on Mason. Looks goes like, for Northern like Mason Suplex. Was trying, to be a, was trying to be a good guy on the cast to get out. Yes, it does. Well, I think honestly he did enough damage to Cassidy, which that's actually surprising. But at the same time, I mean Cassidy did come back from minor injuries, so um, I think if anything, Mason might have took an advantage there. Oh wait, Mason going for a roll up on. On Lawler, is he the Lawler, ref? Right the ref took a while. I don't know what the dude. It's this ref, man. I'm telling you. I feel like we gotta fire him. <laughs> I don't know. Took I a while there for that count. Yeah, I am telling you, man. He's a. Wonder if that's Satoshi's work right there. If so, Shit. I think it's probably a smart investment. I won't lie to you. This ref has been, he has a history of being paid off, man. He actually fucking does. Oh, and now man. Is attacking the knee of Mason Dixon. Not a bad strategy, because Mason, as we said, I mean, can lift a man like Cassidy. If he attacks the knee, that takes that away. But right now, old rivalry starting up. G7 and Lawler in the ring, and old G7 already taking advantage. 
All I can say is that old habits die hard. I also got to point this out. Uh, 101 wise, G7 has actually beaten both of these men. Both men that are in this and tag team match I'll with say them. I'll it like this. G7 not making the same mistake as Dixon letting Lawler crawl. Oh, yeah, no. G G7. <laughs> I, I think he already knows that if he's champion, he has to change his attitude. Normally, I think he would have, but this time around, nah. He has to oh, understand Mason he's champion. Putting uh, Lawler in the sleep. I don't it, know if that's going to be enough here. It wasn't. Lawler was able to get out. And now Lawler was trying to take advantage, but Mason holding his own again. I think Mason learned his lesson against Lawler. Uh oh, well, trust me. From what I've heard, he did learn his lesson. Oh, I believe he's going for the hero spearhead right there on Lawler. Is that enough to put oh. him down? No, Cassidy. Cassidy breaks it up. I'm correct. That's what we called that move, right? It was the hero spearhead. <laughs> Oh, that was supposed to be for the spear, but hey. Color oh, fuck. <laughs> I thought we were oh, calling Hero Justice. All right, we'll go with Hero Justice from now on. Well, with that said, um, the, oh, the Syndicate was trying to take it. The Syndicate was trying to take advantage, but both G7 and Mason laying out both men. And right now, Cassidy again on the outside. Yeah, I think his injuries might... I don't think he was ready to come back, honestly. I don't think so either, but you can't say no to a man like Cassidy. That's true. Oh, wait, Lawler. Oh, and now Lawler again looking to damage the knee of Mason. Gets him in a submission hold. Oof. But Mason able to get out of it. But, man, right now, I think Lawler's thinking on probably making things easier for his partner, Cassidy. Because now Mason's going to struggle on lifting this man. Going after the knee like that, that that would definitely cause some issues. Big time, especially against the likes of someone like Cassidy. And now Cassidy's taking advantage. Yeah, no, the saying goes, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Mason can make that an actual fact. But because the knee's damage, it's going to be even tougher. And, oh, oh my God. Again, <laughs> we got to update this man. Because <laughs> I just saw a big man just hit a 450 splash. 450 oh. splash by Cassidy. My God, the pure athleticism of this man. I, I, I tell you, man. And the big, big titties of that man, Cassidy, right there. <laughs> I don't know how that's relevant, my dear co commentating co-host, but I, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. That's a, that's a big, meaty man. That's one big ham hock, as Jim Ross would oh. say. Lawler was trying to take advantage of Mason, but Mason was able to make it to G7 for the tag, and now G7 is just taking control. You gotta remember, man, G7 is like a bat out of hell when he gets into the ring, and he just takes down anybody who gets in his way. They all, I think the only man that was like actually put down G7, as far as I know, like where we thought G7 was going to pick up another win, was Super. Because he did, he did become a giant slayer. Then he became. Oh wait! Oh, gets in with a jumping future shock DDT and goes for a pin off Lawler. But right now, even Mason is out. But right now, Cassidy was able to save that pin. Yeah, Mason is out on the outside. So right now, it's G7 and and uh, Lawler and Cassidy. It's just him versus the Syndicate at this point. But Mason looks like he's slowly getting to his feet. Hey, you said, and I quote, Shane, we're going to have to stop your editing shit. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, you me. could at least give him a moonsault. <laughs> oh, God damn, that would actually I be mean, more terrifying. More, that that would be even more no, terrifying. That's, that's more believable, though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But no, even with that said, though, that would actually be a lot more terrifying. Oh, wait. <gasps> G7 getting him in the King Slayer. Is that enough to put Lawler out of commission? No, Cassidy. No, okay. I might have, but Cassidy was able to save it. And G7, oh, he looked a little pissed. It looked like he was about to take that down right Cassidy. That right there was a was a mean, mean paradigm shift. Oh shit! What? Do you, that's is Poor the King dude. Slayer, sir. Dude. <laughs> dude. You bastard. <laughs> he could have gave him the Swanton bomb. The Swanton <sighs> balls. <laughs> just imagine that that would be terrifying oh I think I think Mason was trying to go trying to go for a big oh. move but Lawler was able to reverse it 
And now Looks Lawler's like taking advantage. Big move there. Lawler taking advantage of the man now. Oh, oh shit. Oh my god. Uh, Mason hit the mat hard because him hitting the mat face. God damn, he's busted open already. Busted the man open and now Cassidy's coming in to take advantage. He needs some iron in it. Oh, wait. Oh, a big belly to belly from Mason to Cassidy. Right now, I think still, in the ring. <laughs> still able to pick up the big man. Now, the question is was it enough? Oh, wait. Oh, G7 immediately goes to a kick slayer on Cassidy. <laughs> big, big One, kick slayer. two, no. No, Cassidy was able to kick. No, Cassidy was actually able to kick out. Lawler was nowhere in sight. Oh, well, looks like Lawler might be a little, might be catching a little bit of a, might might be catching a little bit of fear. I I, I got to point this out right in here right now. G seven right now. I think he's the only one that's just done pure offense and hasn't gotten like taken advantage of like completely. That's true. Yeah. So far, yeah. Mason has not shown anything in particular. He's shown, honestly, no, he's shown some resolve against Cassidy, but Lawler was able to just damage his knee to where now it's just making it a lot more tough. Oh, yep. oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, <laughs> I think no. uh, G7 was breaking up the pin, but he accidentally took, and out, he took out the ref. The ref, yeah. But now G7 saving Mason, and now it's Cassidy. About, now it's about to go all out war. Wait, Cassidy. Oh, goes for a big. I forgot what we were calling it for him, but holy shit, timber. goes for a big bomb off. Oh, he's still calling it Timber? He goes for a Timber off of G7. But oh my seven. god. This ref is paid off by Satoshi, dude. <laughs> a slow pin from the ref when Mason goes for the pinfall. But I will say, they're still holding their own, these two. Oh, great. Now they're in front of the announce desk. Surprisingly, no uh, no action transpired. But Cassidy now turns his attention to the YouTube champion, trying to get him out of commission. Oh my God! Draws him back first onto the apron. Mason now was Mason. looking. He was looking to assist, but doesn't get it. And now Cassidy gets him up. Oh my God! Now, <laughs> now both Mason and G Seven just laid out Cassidy, taking advantage. Both I men laid it out, both men hurt. Cassidy is not happy with what happened last week because now he turns his attention to the YouTube champion and now stomps away on the chest. Oh, Mason's stomps up. Away and on the chest of the YouTube champion. Mason's up and now attacks Lawler's with success. And now G7's up, getting advantage on Cassidy, gets him up and drops him. I believe, I believe gentlemen, we might see an actual count out victory. Oh, no, never mind, because, never mind. Mason went out to the ring, so we're not seeing a count on victory here. And now it's back to the legal men, Cassidy and Mason, back in the ring. Cassidy and Mason back inside the ring and back to fucking kill each other. Oh, I'm sorry. Not back in the ring. They're just back on each other. <laughs> I'll, I'll admit, I fucked up that boys. <laughs> But Mason, though, getting the upper hand in the exchange now sends Cassidy back in the ring say it like this mason even bloodied up can still hold his own against these guys holy shit oh oh big he fuck what were we calling the rock bottom again heel sacrifice <laughs> big heel sacrifice right there just take just lays cassidy out oh and hits him with oh, a beautiful ddt punch. oh a little bit of a big snap ddt Right now, Mason's popping off and goes for, oh, was going for a heels justice, but Cassidy was able. Oh my God. Cassidy looking to use his own move against Mason. Hits it with oh heroes justice. Hits, a own, hits the heroes justice onto Mason. No, no, that is the, the heroes ham hawk coming down. I was going to say Hamhawk, honestly. I would say that's more of the disrespectful hero. <laughs> God damn, man. Uh, now Lawler is in the ring, but that might cause the ref to actually be forced to do something. Now the... Actually, you know, I, I, I was kind of like uh, Cassidy had Boofy. That was kind of cool to see. I'm not even going to lie. Now, honestly, yeah. It, it was, was perfect, that, that it was was perfect cool timing, fuck. actually. Yeah, <laughs> it was perfect it timing. Was, that, that, that was cool as fuck. 
And now Lawler's legal, Lawler. man. Lawler and uh, hurt and battered Mason Dixon. Honestly, though, Mason has surprised us so far tonight. Could he surprise us by probably being the man to pick up the pinfall victory here for their team? There's a chance. Do you believe in miracles is all I'm going to ask. Oh, look at that. Well, now we're seeing some big taxi mob fans. And oh, gets it with a jumping shock. DDT, is that enough to put Lawler out? Oh. Most likely. Cassidy was about to save it, but Lawler, just in case, grabbed the rope. I don't know what stopped it first. It was grabbing the rope, most likely. Oh. Oh! Okay! Interesting. I used to, he was setting up for a King Slayer, but he didn't hit the King Slayer. Looks like he looks like he hit his own what what he wanted to hit. I, I, I don't I, that's actually the first time I've ever seen him hit that so I don't think he even has a name for it I mean we all know what it's called we've seen that before <laughs> we're not calling it that <laughs> for legal reasons we can't say what it is but we all know what it is you are coming after us fam. He's a big fan of a certain man in another show in real life. <laughs> he's a certain man. He's a certain fan of a man with a plan. Yeah. I'm a man with a plan. He's a fan of All a right. certain lunatic. Man, I gotta, I gotta get props though. G7, I didn't expect him to be like doing as well as he is in this match. But holy it like, shit! It seems like him and. Him and Dixon have been talking a lot for them to be working this fluidly. Oh, more. Oh! Oh! Hits him with a hero spearhead! Is that enough? No! Cassidy was there to fucking stop it. Damn, that was beautiful, though. That was fucking beautiful. That could have. That could have happened a lot better, but hey. My god, right now, I gotta get props to Mason. Mason is surprising the world right now. But now Lawler was getting him into a suplex and now tags in the big fucking the big Texan <laughs> It's a catastrophe known as Bill Cassidy at this point, man. Because holy shit. Oh, but but Dixon seems to be relatively holding his own, I guess. Yeah, no, now he is. He was able to get Cassidy back down. Now looking to probably bring G7 back into the mix. Not a bad idea. G7. I guess it's not a be bad idea for him to do that. Oh yeah. Oh, G G7 telling him no. Oh, was looking to probably do some damage to Lawler. Doesn't get to do it. No. Oh, Never mind. Gets to do it now. And now, oh, G7 with a suicide dive to Cassidy. Oh, and now bust open the big man himself. My God, G7. That might just piss him off. It might have, but G7's not holding back, but neither is Cassidy. Both men just trying to get the upper hand on each other. Cassidy those looks... Injuries that Cassidy sustained, it might be affecting him even more. Quite possibly, but it gets G7 in a big powerbomb, and already G7's up, dude. I mean, Fucking let's remember crazy. last week, he was supposed to be facing Mox for the Hardcore Championship. That's true. Yeah, actually, now thinking about that, you have a point. That's probably explaining how come he's oh, struggling a little bit on this one. Because, honestly, this is the most, like, I can't really say tamed we've seen Cassidy, but it does explain. Oh, my God. Sends fucking nice. G7 flying. I guess Cassidy heard what we had to say. Maybe. Well, just like, just like what we said before to where, uh... <laughs> You were, uh, fuck, what did we say before? <laughs> what we said before. I was legitimately trying to remember what we said before. It's like what we said before, though. Maybe, maybe getting beat down by Castle taught him a thing or two. Oh, that's what it was. Maybe him being busted open is what's fueling him right now. That's true. That oh, Mason. Cassidy was trying to get out of there. Mason, though, rolling him back in. Oh, and now G7, I think, getting a little frustrated here. Oh, Cassidy's back up, though. Like, oh, Cassidy like gets Mason. it with the discus and now goes oh, with the pin. No, Mason was, there to, Mason was there to stop it, luckily. 
Lawler's out, honestly. It would be... Oh, wait. Wait, wait. Lawler's out. Gets caught in a King Slayer. This could be the shot. This could be their One, shot. One. Two. Be right here. No. Oh. Cassidy was able to kick out. Lawler barely made it. Two. That right there was maybe their only chance. Okay, I think Cassidy's, uh, okay, we're going to break fourth wall. His actual big-ass body did not want to get in the corner. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that, My that, God. that is kind of... Really that short. was a hard one to cover up. <laughs> that was a hard one to cover up. <laughs> Cassidy was, uh, he, he was fighting back so much to where, uh, that shit wasn't going to fly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but Mason right here is not letting any pinfalls happen. Uh, Mason's Mason's been good on saving G7 as well, but now we might be seeing G7. Oh, hello! A jumping neckbreaker from G7 to Lawler, and now... Oh, look at, oh, look at that. I guess G7 is a big fan of multiple guys with the big show, if you know what I mean. <laughs> now yeah. just beating the chest one, of Cassidy! Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! What I find funny on my side is delayed, so you're just counting to nothing. <laughs> oh, he gets it with a swinging neck breaker. And now, oh, it looks like G7's ready to put Lawler out of commission here. With another King Slayer. King Slayer. Is that enough to put this match out? One, two, no. no. Lawler kicks out. Wow. Oh, oh, hello! Lawler immediately kicks up and sends him into a godly law! Is that enough? No, Mason was there to break it up. Wow. That was beautiful, by the way. He legit kicked up, shocked him, and just hit him with a fucking godly law. That was fucking sick, dude. I'll tell you this much. Neither team wants to lose here tonight. I can say this, though. The Syndicate, show, or it's showing how come Satoshi chose these two men, because holy shit, dude. They are exceptional together at this point. Damn. Now Cassidy was stomping a big old mud hole, if you know what I mean. At this point, yeah. I mean, shit, already stomping the face of G7, already fucking him up, and now... Ooh. Coming in with big shots. Oh, my God. My god, I wasn't even joking about the big shots because holy shit, G7 G7's now. G7 needs to tag out. Oh my god, gets caught in another big discus. Looking to put G7, the YouTube champion, down this time. Oh, I, gen I, I, I don't know what Mason was doing. I think Mason was trying to get a better angle to where he didn't mess up the ref. I don't know. Being the good guy that he is, but it almost costed them there, I think. It almost cost them right there. Yeah. Oh, now Cassidy just threw him off the him off the apron well Cassidy's up top and he's now oh what the hell okay Cassidy was going for something there I don't know what the hell he was looks like I don't he know missed. yeah I, I did think G7 was able to get out of danger there I generally don't know what he was going for and Mason right now is laid out so it's all G7 against the syndicate oh this is a clothesline and now Cassidy is looking to take over oh my god now tags in Lawler. Lawler, as I said, has history with the YouTube champion. So know for sure Lawler. he would love. Lawler has, to be, Lawler has to be angry about how many shots he has lost just for G7. Oh, well, Lawler, may have, Lawler may have fucked up, actually. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait, no. I think Lawler actually thought hella smart. Oh, no, wait, okay, well, maybe not. Lawler was taunting away, allowed G7 to get the tag, and now Mason going for hero sacrifice off of Lawler! Uh oh, but Cassidy's oh. up. He's not done. <laughs> Mason's not done. He's going for that hero's justice here! But as you said, Cassidy's not down, which means he can't really secure a pin there. Oh, and again, Lawler immediately kicks up. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, look. No, it looks like he's actually, again, looking to work on the knee there off of Mason. My this god, dude, Lawler. Let's, let's remember, in their last match, Lawler saw the strength of Mason hey, Guys, Dixon. guys, I just want to add, this is a regular 
P this is the start of just a normal PXT show. <laughs> it is. That's the crazy fucking thing. Right, like, <laughs> these these men are putting on one hell of a match and I am thoroughly enjoying this match. They're putting actually, everything on the line. Big time. Honestly, I gotta say this. I'm actually getting hella impressed with Lawler this time around. Because, goddamn, dude, he's kicking up like crazy. He's doing moves I actually haven't seen him do ever. <laughs> like, he is a refreshed man at this point. I mean, joining the, the, joining I mean, the syndicates done a for, lot for let, him. Let's not forget to add the big man done a 450 splash. Oh, yeah, no, Cassidy, uh, but let's think, Cassidy, even before he went as Bill Cassidy, he's been a fucking force. He just wanted everyone to take him more seriously now. But with that said, Lawler and Cassidy joining the syndicate, God, probably the best decision of both men's careers, and now hits an elbow dive to the back of Mason Dixon. Is that enough to put him out? One, One two, two, no, no. Mason wow. was able to kick out. Uh oh. It looks like the god of wrestling looking to send Mason with a godly law to put Mason down. Could be it here. We could be seeing no. the end. G7 was able to come in and save it before the ref was even able to do a pin. That's Surprisingly. I think, the, I think the ref... Uh, we've, seen, we've seen something like this before. We have. <laughs> that, was a, that was a save and a half. We've seen that before. Actually, well, I was going to say, if it was like a 1-2, then yeah, but in this case, it wasn't even a 1. G7 missing a big clothesline on Lawler, and right now, G7 is now struggling against Lawler. Yeah, Lawler just remember, breaking the face. These, this match has taken a lot out of these guys. Uh oh G7 may have fucked up. He, he was busy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Was too busy showboating, but takes advantage of Cassidy. And now G7 is getting control back. I get, do you know what? I have a curse. I need to stop saying control. <laughs> I will say this. They're, they're fighting like hell. Oh, G7. Well, he kicked up, ready to face Lawler, and immediately hits him with a King Slayer. But it's on their side. Cassidy was able to break it up. Honestly, Cassidy I think was able to get in quickly and break it up. Oh, but Lawler's not done either. Lawler sweeping the leg. And now hits G7 with a snap suplex. Oof. Oh, I think I think the knee of Lawler was messing up there. It looked like he was dragging his leg for a second. Oh, wait, there it is now, G7, <laughs> sweeping the leg of Cassidy. Immediately, G7 tags in Mason. I think G7's I'll realizing that. that Mason Mason has more of an advantage against someone like Cassidy since he can lift the big man up. Oh, but, but just as you say that, Mason misses that big, big clothesline. Oh, yeah, but either way, he still is able to keep control. And now, again, goes back to tag in G7. G7, oh, the curse of PXT's outside dives continue. And now the Syndicate looking to take advantage. Lawler sending G7 back in the ring. Cassidy taking out Mason on ringside. But now, so is G7 to Lawler. And it is now Cassidy and G7 up. Both men down. It comes uh -oh. down to the wire here tonight. It is, it is now down to the wire. And now, who's going to be able to pick up the win here? G7 taking advantage Let's for right hope now. He has one more Kingslayer in his back pocket. Oh, he's doing what he did to the former user champion with a big power bomb. Now, no, when G7 goes with a power bomb, that is, it's goddamn at this point. He's making his pride ship at this point in his career, man. He's just beaten down. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, G7's going for a submission hold off of Cassidy. This is actually new. I've never seen him actually go for a submission hold here. Oh, he's got but, it locked in. He's got it locked in deep. Lawler was able to save it though. Both Lawler and Mason are back up. Oh, before a moment, G7 immediately takes care of Lawler. Could this be it? Could we be seeing the end here right now? We could be seeing the end. This could no. be it. Well, sadly, no. Lawler is again back up, and G7 and Mason going for a tag team offense. 
Oh, G you're right. G7 knows that Mason can handle the big man. At this point, I mean, he, we've seen him. Oh, my God. Lift him up and everything. But I think Cassidy is still fired up and was able. Holy shit, man. G7. G7 fucking flew. <laughs> he fucking flew to save that tag. Holy shit. Right G7, now, Lawler. The, the light man that he is, he can definitely fly to save those tags. Oh, yeah. Well, right now, G7 and Lawler are having their action happen on the outside. And oh, a running power slam from Cassidy to Mason. Oh. And now Cassidy is up. And oh, a big middle rope splash. And Cassidy's not done. Right now, Lawler is just destroying G7. And gets caught with the discus. Gets caught with the discus. This might be it. One, One two, two, three. And with that, Cassidy and Lawler pick up the win. Wow. What a match. What a match. Holy shit. Champion. This is the first time that Cassidy's won since he came back. Yeah, actually. And it's in, and it's in tag team action. Ah, what damn. Do you think that does to a man like Cassidy? A lot, but it looks like they're not done. Oh, Cassidy okay. picking up Mason again and hitting him with another timber. And Lawler. Timber. Lawler now. Coming in, hitting a godly law off G7. Guys, did y'all screens go black? Looks like that's yeah. over. Yeah, I, I, my screen went black. It's actually black. I'm not even joking with y'all. Wait, what is that? No, that's the arena. Okay, the arena's light shut off. What's going on? What's going on? I don't, I don't like this. Light. Somebody, Somebody get the lights back on. Lights to be able to be scared of the dark. Wait. Ah. Okay, they're coming back on. No. They're back on it! Both, both Lawler and Cassidy are down! The only man standing in the ring is C. Jill! Oh my god, it's C. Jill! The former YouTube champion! C. Jill looking into the corner. Lawler. Lawler down, Cassidy down, but he's looking in the corner at G7. Oh, he's walking up towards him. Extends a hand. Did see Jill just save Mason and... What the fuck's going on here? <laughs> what the fuck? Things that, we, that you wouldn't see anywhere else. I... Dude, the white Piper of Russia continues to impress. I'm telling you, you cannot underestimate the white Viper of Russia. What in the actual fuck did I just witness? <laughs> what in the hell? So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, I don't, I, I, I don't know if Cyclone was wanting to do this now. But no, you can't here, do it. Go ahead. Later on, on uh, Twitch, live on Twitch, Cool BT12, y'all, uh, we're gonna be having a royal. Uh, the EXW Rumble match with superstars such as Michael Wolf, the DMOB, and I heard, I heard there might be some PST superstars pulling double duty here tonight over in EXW. Uh, and also, General Manager d will be making a, a one-off appearance for uh, the retirement of an FTW great, FTW powerhouse will be having his final match here tonight. So guys, please do not miss the EHW Rumble. Yes, and also if you guys want to go uh, straight shot to it as well, uh, I did put it in the description of this stream, so it should be there. I'm going to double check, make sure it's up. Uh, yes, it is the EHW show live. That is a straight link to that show. So if you guys want to go out there, give some support, uh, go ahead. Because honestly, uh, it, I think it would be awesome, especially for uh, that man's last match as well. Oh shit, well, that, well now you make me want to just stop the show and watch that shit. <laughs> All right, well either way, let's get, we're going to get back into uh, BXT. So real quick, congratulations to the Syndicate on picking up the win. Uh, fuck you, officer, doing the assault. See, Jill? 
<laughs> Not a surprise. It's like it's even... <laughs> Holy fuck. I, that wasn't even the surprise. <laughs> yeah, surprise is here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. Hold Fucking on crazy. To your diapers and your dentures because it's about to get crazy. It is. Especially for the next match because uh, this match is uh, honestly, I think, something this woman needs. Uh, Alexia Jimenez. Um, for people that uh, don't know, when we did our actual uh, tournament to see who was going to be our inaugural PXT Women's Champion, Alexia was the runner-up. And then she came this, up short again. Yes, this uh, past episode of MTW, she was in a tournament again, and the same thing happened. Um, as far as my understanding goes, she is feeling immense frustration because I mean that that's twice already that she came so close, you know. Um, if I'm correct, uh, Rocky, I believe you were able to get a uh, sit-down interview with her. I did. She was not very, um, she was not very happy, I'll tell you that much. Um, but we did manage to get her to calm down, especially with the help of, of our former tag team champion, Rocky. He managed to help out the situation a little bit because they have some history. Now I was gonna say, did he did he call her? Because as far as I know, Rocky is still in the in the hospital. YouTube. Yeah, we managed to get him to give her a phone call, and he was able to calm her down. But he didn't sound right. But that that's a different story for another day. But we managed to get her to calm down, and we got some words from her. She said that she's gonna show the PXT universe what a true. It looks like and not the false that holds the PXT Women's Championship. Ooh. Are you making her aim here? All right. Damn. Oh, with that said, uh, tonight, though, she is actually going one-on-one -on -one against uh, the greenest of the bunch, the not green. even the women's. The uh, greenest of the green. <laughs> yes, Cornell, the youngest PXT signee in history. Uh, only 17, and uh, holy shit. <laughs> Now, Cornell was also in that tournament. I've seen, and, uh, I've seen hey, some amazing things from Cornell. I have yet. <laughs> no, in ring, I mean, she is exceptional. Um, it's just, she struggles on actually keeping the focus. If uh, if I can actually put in my two words there. Now, She's... But let's talk about this woman right here before she yells at us again. You're going to kill us, what are you talking about? Alexia you, man. Is, is not is not a woman to be messed with or to be trifled with what she's told me. Well, now she's here to make uh, her statement. I, 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 as I, what I, she I said. personally, I personally had a, a conversation with Lorraine about her favorite com uh, the favorite competitor that she has competed against here in PXT, and she has said hands down it is Alexia um, Amenes. I can see that. Right. When, she, when she gets you up for the queen's ruling, you have to admit that looks like it would hurt. Oh, 100%. But now, let's get back to the to the greenest one of the green. Let's talk about Carnell. Now, oh, God. I, I have not had the, uh, the honor to interview this young woman. But let me tell you, she seems like she's a ball of fire and she's ready to fight. What do you guys think? Uh, I was able to get a small word from her. Um, so far, she seems just fired up in general. She's not disappointed with how she plays because she understands that she's still green. It's going to take a lot longer for her to become a champion because even her uncle, who was Electro, uh, it took a while hey for him to kick off. So she understands I'm that. My door dash is almost here, so I'm going to step away. For you minute. better give That's us fine. goddamn pizza. Hey, grab, grab that. It's Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We're both now we're, we're both getting, Hispanics we're here. We deserve that shit. Into the action. Ooh, All right, I'm doing right with a big, big leg to Alexia Jimenez. Oh, but Alexia's not gonna take it either. I'm ready, going with big offense against Carnell. Now that big. Oh, that's a monstrous elbow. Oh yeah, from Carnell. Yeah, <laughs> Carnell was able to reverse it and gives a elbow back of her own. And oh. Jesus. Alexia, though, not letting her take more advantage than she was already getting. And now, I think uh, I think from what's showing, Alexia is not just here to make a statement, but also probably to just embarrass the shit out of Cornell. 
But I will say, I will say this. Alexia was a former SmackDown Women's Champion. Yeah, no, she's a former champion in her own right. Now, don't get me wrong. I can see her being a future PXT Women's Champion. Honestly, I was hella impressed that she actually came up short in that tournament. I was actually thinking she was going to be able to become the inaugural. But she did underestimate her opponent, CJ Love. And because of that, she, uh, she cost. She underestimated her opponents coming into PXT. She thought That's it was going to be just like the WWE. This is not sports entertainment. We go to the extreme here, and she didn't understand that, but I guess she does now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. Because either way, she learned her lesson at that tournament as well, because she did. Uh, they did technically have a PXT Women's Finals rematch there between Alexia and CJ. And, uh, yeah, Alexia was able to right her wrong and picked up a big win against CJ Love. That's a but towards the end of it, her Cinderella story was canceled, much like what happened to our beloved D-Mob at the oh, first yeah. MTW tournament. That is true. And as far as my understanding goes, uh, from what we saw earlier for Smooth, I believe we will also be, believe it or not, possibly hearing some word in from the PXC champion himself. Electrode. Well, yeah. After after we see what happens with his niece, maybe we'll get to see hear from him. Uh, quite possibly. But I will not say anything bad about Carnell because she can hold her own. Oh, yeah, no, I'm honestly, Especially she's... against a big, mean woman like Alexia. The one thing I will give Carnell props to is that she comes from a family of champions because even Electro has won titles of his own. He doesn't keep them long, but he's won titles of his own. In other words, your father. But that um, he also That he also was also in the WWE, much like, you know... A few of our guys on the roster, like Adonis. And, yes, you. Uh, oh my God! A big spin kick from Carnell to Alexia's temple. Is that enough? No. Oh. Um, Carnell, no. Electro, Electro, but Apco, yes. Apco has actually not seen a lot of success when in his time in WWE. The one that did was Electro, and that kicked off his wrestling career to go full on skyrocket. Because then he went his everywhere. Full on skyrocket. Big time, man, because he went on to every promotion that there was and became Triple Crown Champion. Whether it was single titles, tag titles, whatever, he went and claimed titles to become a Triple Crown, and that is his whole shtick now. And now, and now we no. got Carnell, who's holding her own against a former SmackDown Women's Champion. Yeah, no, with that said, too, um, Carnell, the thing that impresses me with Carnell is that though she comes from a family of champions, she doesn't let her, like, affect her ego in any way. She's still very sportsmanlike, which I am impressed by, because normally, when you come from a family of gold, yeah, you're going to be a cocky little bitch. And I don't mean oh, that, like, now, you know what I mean? had her locked in just a minute ago into a place where many men would love to be. Should we, should we just call that, uh... A king's dream. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna call that a king's dream. <laughs> oh man. Good shit, I how would love to be in there. Damn. Yeah, cool <laughs> by Carnell. Yeah, I know. As you said though, I am actually impressed with Carnell holding her own against a former uh WWE SmackDown women's champion. Oh my god, big suicide dive from Carnell to Alexia. Ooh. Seems like Alexia might be underestimating her competition yet again. Yeah, no, honestly, that I think she needs to really start like understanding the place that she's in right now, because holy crap, dude. We have exceptional talent both in the females and males divisions here. And if you're gonna underestimate, I mean damn, it's gonna cost you. I think she needs to realize that it's not all about them muscles. Yeah, no, that's true, because holy shit, she lost against a small woman like CJ for the title, and uh, now, going for a pin, Carnell is, only gets a two, Alexia was only able to kick count. out. But how much yeah. does she have left? Because if you think that, about it like this, those losses, back-to-back, -back might even be affecting her mental state, because she wasn't able to get even number one contender in the women's battle royal. So I also want to point out that uh, the Alex, 
I guess I was wrong about Cornell because she was being a little bit showboaty because apparently she was trying to do uh, Queen's Dom Dominance? Is that what it's called? Queen's Dominance? <laughs> At that point, we might as well just call it the Queen's Dominance, because when she drops the ass on you, you don't even know what's going to happen. That's what Cornell just attempted right now. I think she was, uh... I think she was trying to use it yeah. off the Queen herself. The Queen knows that move better than anybody, so at that point, you can't even hit it on her. Oh, yeah, no. She did come up short from hitting it right now. Lexia on the apron. Cornell setting her up, and oh! Cornell gets caught with a knee to the face, and now Alexia. Ooh. Uh oh, oh, oh my god, Cornell lifting up the big woman herself and hits her with an Alabama slam. Alabama slam. Oh, oh. And it looks like she uh, learned a trick from her own uncle himself. <laughs> Jesus. God damn. I guess she's learning that she needs to step up her game. Oh, big time. Oh, well, well I guess we spoke too soon because she does hit the Queen's Dominance on the Queen herself. Oh. And, wow. Okay, I'm actually wow. impressed here. She was able to pick up the win from it. She picks up the win on the Queen herself with the Queen's Dominance. Holy shit. Wait a minute, what's... Wait, hold on, the match is over, what the hell? Yeah, I know, Alexia immediately attacks Carnell. Honestly, I'm, I don't even blame her. Carnell did it to herself. <laughs> Carnell fucking did it to herself. Oh Wait my god. She gets her up over her shoulders. Queen's ruling. And lays out the greenest of the bunch. Honestly. I don't blame Alexia at all. Carnell fucked up by being what her uncle probably told her to fucking do and be a showboating asshole. God like damn it. I think, I think Rocky needs to come back soon or else she might tear the roof off the place. I've she was just listening to her uncle. Her uncle fucked. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, now, okay. Probably, probably shouldn't say it like that, but shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, have grab, I have to grab my own food, so Booker T 2.0 will be right back. Alright. You know what? I think uh, I think this is a perfect time. Uh, apparently, uh, the words is not out yet for Electropes, but we do have some word from our PXT Tag Team Champion itself, Mr. Shane Henry. You already know who I am. I'm Shane Henry, the outcast of PXT. The current tag champion. The man who injured, concussed, and took Rocky Bacardo out. But without that out of the way, let me stop talking about myself for a second. Let's talk about Rush and our opponents at Rush. D-Mob and Slee. <laughs> oh, what do I have to say about you two? Oh, let's start with Slee. How about that? Michael Slade, you keep saying this, never give up, always win, I do this, I come in, work in, I don't care. I'm going to silence you and put you back in your place. Alright, but with that said though, with that said though, um, back, to the, back to the action here in PXT. So Sammy Camp got distracted by Ava Moreno, her opponent at PXT Rush. Um, as far as I know, Sammy says it didn't really disrupt her match in any way. He just uh, got got sidetracked. But when she was in the middle of our interview, uh, Emma Jeffrey came in uh, crying, bawling, because uh, she found out that apparently oh, Drew Lord. has a new uh, has a new side piece, and uh, she is uh, yeah yeah yeah. Hey, Mom, no. No, stop! I'm trying to eat. Okay. Don't make that okay. With that said, though, she she came in crying, distraught, and uh, she's she's been she, she's yeah she is not happy. And um, Sammy was trying to console her. Emma, God damn it! Emma was not happy about it and immediately slapped Sammy Kent in the face. And Sammy was also not happy oh, about it. So yeah. tonight, oh. ladies and gentlemen, it is Sammy Kent going one on one against Emma Jeffrey here tonight. Oh, oh no. 
Damn, he's gonna kill you. Sorry. <laughs> Emma's gonna kill you. What? Will we be seeing any new women signees tonight? No. Don't know. Thumper's not playing. It's Super it Girl K. Sammy Kent. I that that one on you. Hottest woman in PSP. She was able to win. Take, take it back. Take it back. <laughs> what? Idea. What? No idea. No idea. Take it back right now before she kills us. Take it back right now. Who? Judith? Alexia, Stop. god damn it. Yeah, she's on a rampage. You might want to watch what you say. What? You don't think you don't think Lorraine's gonna kill me later? You know what? Fair point. He has a worst. He has a worst. Yeah. He's gonna rip off his dick. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there is not much I can say that has not already been said about Sammy Kent. Hell, no, honestly, I'm impressed how she's not even phased by it. Hell, because normally people would be like, hey, she cost me a match. She's not even phased. But now we gotta talk about uh, Miss Emma. Still so says Jeffrey again. The, the the divorce is still not finalized, so she still has the name Emma Jeffrey. Um, God, I feel fucking oh, bad for her. Should we feel please bad? Take, should we? Please take her back, Jeffries. How bad could she be? It doesn't seem that bad. I mean, I mean Dude, I'm way I'm, prettier than the other one. I'm telling you right now, it's a huge fucking downgrade. <laughs> Oh man, if you want to know what we're talking about, watch MTW's live stream. Bro, you went from a happy bill, you went from a happy bill to a sad bill. <laughs> God damn it. No, honestly though, Emma, looking to... God, I guess just get some payback in general. I don't know. Not payback, but I guess just wants to fucking get some All frustration say, out, man. God. Is that I hope Emma wins. I'm sorry. For the sake I... Of the Dude, I Sorry. feel fucking sad for fucking Emma Jeffrey at this point, dude. <laughs> She'll lose this one tag team match with her hubby. The hubby's like, nah, bitch. <laughs> you done. God, I mean, it's she sad. Did, she, she did kind of Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan. She did. Let's be honest. She kissed him right before the match. It shouldn't have happened. Made his legs wobbly. Couldn't get the sexy kick right. And he got mad. You know what? Fair point. But not, well, I don't know about Wobbly because he hit a beautiful one against fucking. Um, oh, and right out of the gate, beautiful DDT by Supergirl Sammy Kent. Yeah, Sammy Kent not holding anything back. She is a uh, she is full on just dominating the match. I think the emotions are still fucking with Emma, but Emma's looking to rally a little bit. Man, honestly, guys, if we were women and we were in her situation, how how do you guys think y'all would react? My pussy hurts. <laughs> Wouldn't that be after? <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna respond with this. <laughs> God damn it. That's right, Seth Rollins. I stole your laugh. Fuck me. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Listen, man. The drip the drip daddy has to come to PXT. The drip, God damn it! It'll, it'll never happen. It'll never happen. He will never come. Oh shit! <laughs> Please. <laughs> I think it'd be cool one day, like if this shit does actually like full on kick off. Um, we meet like Seth Rollins or anybody from WWE. I think that'd be pretty fucking sick. Dude, meeting Seth freaking Rollins would be the highlight of my life. See, honestly, would as well, but I met Undertaker, dude, I'm going to be honest with you, I probably wouldn't be able to talk, I'd probably be like, oh, and that'll be it. <laughs> you will rest in Oh, dude, I, I would kiss myself right there and there if Undertaker gave me a rest in peace. <laughs> I would. Oh, and now Emma put Supergirl on, okay, on, the, on the wall there, She's hoping to get a ring out now. Yeah. This is the only victory she can get. Honestly, can you blame her though? Can you blame her? I mean, she, her, wait, what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. She was chasing after Emma, but oh, oh, look at that. 
The PXC Women's Champion comes in with an assault straight to Sammy Kent. So, Mike Evans has took him the whole thing to a whole nother level. The reason I say that is because uh, when he came back, he, he is gone full force against like big guys and everything like so now tonight he's actually holding an open challenge yes mike evans is holding an open challenge against anyone in the back because he thinks he can prove that he is oh hello oh oh it looks like we're looking at a newly refreshed mike evans here oh i thought you were gonna say michael Oh, would you look at that? Damn. I'll say this, he cleans up good, damn. That's all I can say. I know, because honestly, hell, two weeks ago, he was in a career match to see if he was going to still be here in PXT. He was able to pick up the win because he showed he wanted it so much more. I just realized something. I had to change something. All I can say, all I can say is rip a rest. Rip our boy a and dust. That's all I can say. Yeah. We love you, brother. Have fun in whatever promotion you're in. Now the question is, who's going to answer the call for Mike Evans' match? Who is going to? Wait a minute. The call? Holy shit, it's the return of the former PXT champion. Correction, the first ever two-time PXT champion, Bone Tubular. Oh my god, the roof has just come off the arena. Here comes Bone Tubular. We haven't seen Bone since PXT Carnage. He was he didn't even make an appearance at Frost. Hell, it's been a it's it's been a fucking minute. <laughs> Uh, damn, I think everyone's excited, but honestly, I'm excited to see the outcome of this, because both men are technically crowd, cruiserweights. The crowd loves Bone Tubular. Oh well, yeah, Bone Tubular, one of the OGs here at PXC. But not just that, immediately comes in with a springboard catching Herrick I'll be honest with you, I thought Bone Tubular was Draven. Wait, what? <laughs> you thought Bone Tubular was Draven? <laughs> I thought Bone Tubular was, was a little honest. bit bigger. I oh, thought he was a little bit bigger back. than that. No, he's actually a... No, he is generally a cruiserweight. Well, no, I think he's a light heavyweight, but he fights like a cruiserweight. I, thought, I just remember him being a little bit taller. Was he not? Well, I haven't changed him at all, so I, I don't know. <laughs> but then again, I was watching this shit on my phone. Yeah, but no, it has been a, it has been a minute since we've seen Bone... Oh, damn! He's trying to go for Bone a big tubular. moonsault. Bone Tubular is a mean and fierce competitor. Big time, but then not just that. He's a he is known as the high speed, high flyer. Because holy shit, when he gets in the throttle, dude, it's almost hard to cut, come back at him. I'm saying like this: you get into the ring with Bone Tubular, you're gonna witness some great, great things. But now the question is, hell, what would this do for Mike Evans if you think oh. about it? Like picking off a win off the former PXT champion, hell, two-time, former two-time PXT champion. I mean, shit. Oh, it's back, motherfucker. Here we fucking go. <clears throat> and right now, goddamn, Aussie Bones just showing that he's not missing a step. That's where four Evans able to kick up Bone immediately going inside. And oh, oh, Bone though, finally, possibly fucking up. He misses that outside dive and now Evans is taking control and now turns his attentions to the knee of Bone Tubular. Not a bad idea. <laughs> no knee, no high flying ability. Yeah, but then not just that, it also slows the man down immensely. Because hell, it, even when he's outside the ring, Bone can hold his own. Uh, case in point, well, Sorry, I was about to say case in point. technical difficulties, my friends. But, Bone Tubular is off to a good start, if you'd say so. Oh, immense good start. But I also want to point out, I believe the count is at five, if I'm correct. Oh. 
But just right being able to see a man like Bone Tubular again, I don't care how this match ends. All right, count of seven. Bone hits a drop kick off of Mike Evans. Mike Evans immediately gets back up. Man, both men just, I guess, wanting to beat the living shit out of each other. Oh, both men were able to kip up, and they are back in the ring at a count of eight. And now, Evans takes control. Oh! Beautiful maneuver right there from Evans. And now, Bone had to roll out to get an advantage, but gets caught into a exploder suplex. Oh, but now Bone kicks up. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't, I, it's, uh, there is no way I can cover that, but uh, some weird shit happened. <laughs> Bone taking advantage. Goes for the pin off Mike Evans. Is that enough to put Evans down? No. Evans still going. Bone's got it. Relax. Does he? No, I'm joking. Honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised. Because like I said. <laughs> now, how will, if, if Mike Evans is able to silence Bone Tubular tonight, how is that going to show for this young man's career? That is an excellent question. Oh, God damn, catches him with a big, like, boot. Shit. No, honestly, I can agree on that, because shit, I mean, picking up a win off of, not just the former PXC champion, but the first ever two-time PXC champion. Like, Bone has done it twice. Not that they would be a we all surprised when he beat Smooth Morena. Oh, hell up. <laughs> That is a, that's something that I didn't even fucking expect. I was expecting Smooth to, like, full-on dominate the match, but as I said, he's a high-speed, high-flyer for a reason. When he gets in the gear, it is impossible, almost impossible to come back. Hell as shit. Mentioned, hasn't also Mike Evans defeated Smooth Moreno? Yes, actually on their debut, Smooth uh, did get pinned by Mike Evans. But hell, so far it looks like. Uh, oh wait, what is? Hey, what? The, hey, were they get? What were they going, going for? I genuinely don't know. Both men in dangerous predicament here. I actually don't know what the fuck's gonna happen here. Bone on the rope. It goes for. Oh my god! An avalanche, electric chair. Holy shit! Oh Jesus! Oh, bone's not bones done. Holy out. shit! Bones pulling out all the stops. I think Bone was trying to go for Bone Crusher, but doesn't get it. Oh! I'll say it like this: Bone Tubular's pulling out all the stops. Yeah, no shit. I, <laughs> bone's not holding anything back, man. He's back, and he's showing why he's a former champion here. Here it is. One. Two, no, only gets a two count. Evans was so close to pick up a win off the former PXC champion. I think Evans needs to go for that for that patented move he always does, the one where he slams their face into the canvas. The, the mic satisfaction, honestly, that would actually really help him out here. Going for now the break. mic satisfaction. So oh, now breaking forth, breaking fourth wall here. Uh, he did change his shit, so I don't know <laughs> what he has now. <laughs> oh, no more BC. Yeah, possibly. You suck, Mike. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh wow! Oh wow! You suck. Evans, Evans is now destroying the back of Bone. Bone though, looking to get back into it. Oh, and Evans now. <laughs> I, love how, I love how quickly you bandwagoned off. <laughs> Just because he changed the move. <laughs> you changed the move. Boo, Evans. You suck. <laughs> oh, shit. Catches him with a big spine buster, though. One, two, no. Damn. Big spine buster from Mike to Bone. Oh, big DDT. Yeah, right now he's just catching the former champion in DDTs. Mike Evans can still pull this away, and this will do something for this young man's career if he can beat Bone Tubular. Oh, yeah, no, immensely. Because putting away somebody like Bone Tubular will add to his growing resume. Oh, big time. Hell, look what happened with Shane Henry. Hell, he was able to put down uh, 
Bone Tubular when he was champion. Hell, same thing with Lawler. Well, actually, no. Correction. It was when he won the opportunity. But, um, yeah. They were able to put him down. So, if I'm, if I'm correct, I believe Lawler was the first one to put him down. And then Shane the following week. Oh, my God. Bone's not holding back either because he just busted open Mike Evans. Wow. Remember, man. Bone, Bone Tubular is a veteran. He is uh -oh. not gonna hold. And it looks like he's kicking the throttle! Holy shit! God damn! He just went for a nice suicide sp <laughs> suicide dive, man. God damn, that, that was actually pretty fast. Guys, I didn't I expect it to go say, that fast with it. I just want to say that Taco Bell was really good. <laughs> oh, wait, and we are not sponsored. <laughs> ain't gonna be saying that. All right, now gets him into the skull crusher. Is that enough? No, I keep right now. I keep changing the name. It's either Bone Crusher or Skull Crusher. <laughs> Going Skull Crusher. And it looks like Bone is now setting up. Oh no! Oh, this time finally hits Bone Spike. One, two, three, and picks up a win against Mike Evans here tonight. Mike Evans has been put down. Damn! Was it Shane Lola? Okay, I don't remember who exactly was first. <laughs> oh, big time. Holy shit. Oh, it's great to see Bone back in the PXC. Oh, wait, what's Looks this? Looks like wait. this man is back and he's here to stay. Hold on, wait a minute. Apparently he's grabbing a mic. He, he is claiming that he is the first official man in the PXT rush match. Oh shit. Oh, joyous day. The first man in the rush match and the man I'm going to pick to win the whole thing. Okay, on to the next match. It is our TikTok championship match. Gen X will be defending the PXT TikTok championship against the randomly selected opponent Jack Daniels. What? Oh. Yeah, I want to make, make a joke here, but he'll get mad. Yep. So we're not making those jokes anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is for one fall, and it is for the PXT Tick Tuck Championship. I'm going to start saying it like that. Sounds cool. <laughs> Now, this this is probably going to be uh, Gen X's biggest challenge yet. Because here's the thing, Jack Daniels has genuinely fucking surprised me. Like, he is full on taking control of, like, every match he's in. And every time we think, oh, he's out. Nah, he just comes back out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it. I mean, dang. I think, honestly, I think this is actually a pretty good match because he's been on, like, a wild fucking run. But even with that set, too. I mean, hell. Who knows? Maybe he can give Jet X that L that he so rightfully deserves. I'm not putting anything I, bad. I still got so many <laughs> is that the only Keep reason why the guys are to be saying shit? <laughs> That's exactly why I am keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> All I can say is if Jack Daniels is watching, should have uh, chosen. But hey. Yeah. Yeah, because honestly, it does, it does make it hard to commentate since we can't, like, joke around. Like, because we joke around about everything. <laughs> There's a boxer called Ryan Salk. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to put his opponent down like a bar tab. See? Shit like that, man. Shit like that would fucking bad that character and perfectly just because of his name. Of men putting down men like a bar tab, here comes Gen X. Actually, it does remind me, I should actually have my phone here. Because uh, I believe I am getting some messages from Mr. Ah, sure. He's crying, buddy. What the fuck? Oh, shit. 
Oh, you're not happy. Come oh, on, man. You gotta know how to take a joke. That's all I'm gonna say. Isn't Ava Moreno the girl from my right now? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I still don't know. Well, I still don't know why it does it. I mean, I mean, the name, oh. yes. No? Character no. Introducing first the challenger, Jack Daniels. He has a tab. What? I didn't say that. And his opponent, he is the Tick Tock Champion. Genix! You should have done the. Do, 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 do. Look, I sound like I have a fucking seizure when I do it. <laughs> no, Jack, you will not be getting an invite. Never. <laughs> I mean, we are down a commentator tonight. You know what? I was gonna say, if anything, we could have him join after D Mob leaves. Yep, hey, yeah. Hey, D Death, you're gonna fill in for me after I have to go to Lance's league, okay? There you go. See, we, we have it planned out. Alright, here it is. Mr. Daniels going against Gen X. I want to point out a fighting TikTok champion, honestly. I will say this, Gen X has put, like, the definition of being a champion so far on that title, because holy shit. <laughs> Him and Mox are, like, almost... Crazy ass champions in general. That this cord only win the only one. That was Shane said. That this cord right now the only reason. All right, well, Janix already taking full on control of this match. Daniel's struggling to take off. Daniel's is just struggling to take off. Now, Gen X has been in full control so far. Yeah, there's a thing, and I would say this because Gen X does let his personality take over sometimes. Or correction, his ego. He still should not underestimate Daniels because Daniels has done this shit in the past to where he makes us think, oh, okay, well, it's already decided. Then out of nowhere, reverses the entire fucking match in his favor. Oh, in case in point. <laughs> right now, already catching Gen X with a series of strikes onto the outside. All right, right now. Oh, big kick to the temple. And right now, Gen X going back into the ring. Daniels rolls back in, but Gen X taking control, taking over. From that advantage there. I was trying to stomp. Ooh, big kick. Across the face from Daniels to Gen X. Je Daniels is in control. Again, I should not say the word control. Because apparently, <laughs> it fucking hurts people. <laughs> Daniels is in control of this match. He immediately gets fucked up. <laughs> it never fails. And now Gen X looking. The probably wear down the man Daniels here tonight. Most definitely. Well, Daniels though able to get out of the maneuver. Gen X gets him up and drops him face first over the top rope. I don't know what Gen X is going for there. Sends Daniels to the ropes. And, oh, catches him with a big bicycle kick across the face. Is that enough? No, Daniels is still going. Oh, Gen X already setting up for possibly. Now setting, oh, was setting up for next gen. Daniels though, able to get out of being up top and immediately catches him with a big clothesline. This might be his chance. Honestly, I agree. This could be the shot. This could be the shot he needs against the former mixed up martial artist himself. I see what you did there. Wait, what? You didn't, you didn't catch it. Never mind. Oh, you motherfuckers! 
Oh, See, that was so subtle. I bet you he didn't even hear it. <laughs> He's taking lots of shots. Lots of shots. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> now you guys are going to get me doing it too. <laughs> Daniels has taken so many shots from Gen X. <laughs> God. The only subtle one hey. we got. Let us have hey. it. <laughs> his, 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 his finisher should be the final shot of Jack. No, no, he can't. Oh, the final shot? That'd be a cool fucking move, though. I mean, shot, that'd yeah. actually be a decent fucking name no, for a move. Shot. Dude, I, hey, if, if you do not agree with the puns, at least make your finisher the final shot. Yeah, because the final shot that does actually sound like a decent fucking move. That sounds, like, that sounds like a pretty cool like finisher. Right now, Daniels is actually... Man, he is actually taking control of the match. Daniels this is what I was talking about, though. Control. This is what I'm talking about, though. He lets his opponent like just wear himself down, or wear them down so much to where all he has to do is just clean up. Because now Gen X has popped open. Oh, yeah. This is all... That is all Daniels needs to do. He just needs to play with that strategy that's earned him a lot of success. At least in one-on-one -on -one action. Yeah, he has to focus on doing that in one-on-one -on -one action. Because in tag team action, it doesn't have a lot of help for him. Oh, no. Yeah, because tag team action-wise, he has a... Uh... I think he has one loss under his belt. It's his only loss here in PXT. Pretty much, yeah. Now Gen X looking to just punish the shit out of Daniels. I believe Gen X is pissed off at being busted open here tonight. Goddamn well, big. Yeah, no. Honestly, yeah, because I think he thought it was going to be a simple match. Then Daniels had to, like, just kick off, man. We're at count of seven. Gen X lifting up Daniels. Goes back in the ring. Right now, Daniels still on the outside. Dazed. At a count of eight. Okay, Gen X going ahead and breaking it. Oh, was trying to get him with a big knee lift to the face. Misses it, though. And now Daniels taking control. You know what? Right. If Jack Stop. wins this, I think I'm gonna take a shot. <laughs> you motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just never fun. This is the only one we got. This, this is generally the only one we have. Oh, he's about to pay the tab. <laughs> Ooh, and now Daniels. Pay the tab. Ooh, and now Daniels is right taking there. control. He is taking control of the match. Again, man, it is control. <laughs> it's the word control. <laughs> Stop speaking. <laughs> All right, well, now Daniels. Oh, missing. Could this be? Because say, was that going to be a shot there? But no. Daniels. Abel. Get out of it now. Get to him with big shots himself. Immediately. Oh, swings him over. Is that another put? Gen X out of commission. Not One. Shot. Two. God damn it. <laughs> oh. Gen X is still going. Now, honestly, we could be seeing the end here. We legit could be for Gen could X's be. title career. I mean, we're seeing the end. We're seeing several shots fired. Oh, big bicycle kick from Gen X to Daniels. Is that another put him out? Two, Not a shot. three. Mm. That, that was me put everything in that bicycle kick. Holy shit. And with that, Gen X retains. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I, I Wait actually, a minute. Wait a minute. I think, I think Jack Daniels might have tweaked his leg. Uh oh. Coming down from that rope. It most certainly looked at like it. He grabbed it and everything. Oh, you're getting out from that replay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, I just... I think it's... Uh, I think... I think his finish... Uh, his six has been... His six should be called Payton Tab. 
and then the uh, finish could be called the final shot. Yeah, I think final shot's actually. That's not final even like shot. a joke one. Final shot and pay the tab. Yeah, because that was not even a joke one. That's just like a genuinely good fucking like name I for it. Hey, tab's not either. Like, well, I mean, it's a pun on his name, but it's still like it makes fucking sense for that character, bro. Well, like, here, here's the thing. At least for me, Apollo Crews had the same fucking problem. He, you know, he went through it. Um, I don't get me wrong. He, he had it. Would, yeah. Time. Which that wasn't even a problem. <laughs> uh, no, it, it just it makes it hard to have a. <laughs> yeah. Look, look, you're talking. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Um, I hope you're watching right now, so that way I'll not sound like an idiot. But I have like, like, like I've experienced real life behind the scenes stuff. And dude, I'm telling you right now, if you, if you fucking let us fucking call, call shit like how we see it, and we can get some motivation behind your character, we can, like, like, like look what we've built smooth. Like, I came up with, you just got smooth. Like, and smooth loved it. Dude, yeah, like I, I can I can do things for your character. I'm just I mean, saying. Oh you heck, well oh, heck, even well, even like the old fashioned, <laughs> like that. That's that's now becoming a staple of its own. Like it's, it's just embracing it. Exactly, it's embracing who you are. Yeah, well, dude, your name is Jack Daniels. Because as far as we know, the past two weeks, uh, Michael Wolf and Jacob Twisted Wildfire have apparently been skeptical on Devil's Alliance, mainly because of that first yeah. week that happened. Uh, with where it was Wildfire going against Justin, Devil looked concerned for Justin when big moves were being hit on him. Uh, last week they had a one-on-one -on -one match. Uh, Justin still believes he can get to his brother, he just got to beat his ass more, because maybe that'll actually like take him back in the knowledge. So, with that said, uh, they are going to be competing against each other here one more time. Wait, what's this? Michael Wolf. Michael Wolf. Dustin Michael coming Wolf. in the ring. Oh! Devil though, not holding. Oh my god! Holy shit! I think Devil's getting I think Devil's getting pissed with these tests. Holy shit. Oh god! His own brother, but I, I think with Devil, he's trying to prove to the unholy that he is a valued member. My God. Holy Immediately, Justin looking to try to make a little bit of leeway here. Headway. Yeah. Like a bit of headway right there, but I don't know if he's going to be able to keep that head. I know, as far as we know, Justin has does not have the best success here in PXT. Hell, he struggles on getting like... Actually, does he have a win? I just realized. <laughs> I believe Justin only has two wins here in PXT. I know one of them was with Devil when they did a small reunion against the Syndicate. There's one. Say it like, call it how it is, he gave his prime years away already. I mean, ah, uh, true, it's just, I don't know. Dustin, for some so reason, I've just doesn't want to give up on him. So I've always had a question about Justin. Is Justin a Los Angeles Lakers fan? Uh, so he's a Minnesota Vikings fan. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. uh, I seen it. And I thought more Lakers, and I've always wondered. I, I've been able Ooh. to ask you that. Yeah, well, he he was for a while, but it's not because the Lakers were good. It's because of the color purple. Yeah, he was. Mm. Yeah, but no, it, the, the the color scheme is mainly based off the Minnesota. Are you? So are you a Vikings fan? I ain't nothing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just I watch the I watch the games and when for some reason when I watch them uh, they turn into fire. 
No, I don't mean they're bad. I mean like they they're actually decent like games. Oh yeah, by the way, any Bill Sam watching this, screw y'all. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what? The any hey, Bills fans. Screw <laughs> y'all. Y'all beat my Steelers. My Steelers deserve to be there. We're, we were on the stairway to seven, and the Bills had to come along and fuck it all up. <laughs> At a count of six, right now, Devil is just full on destroying Justin. Oh wait, Justin looking to fight back as well. As Devil flying. Say that, say that word. Justin's say taking it. control of this match. Motherfucker. <laughs> Looks like Devil's just taking know. control of the match. Ah, it only works when know. I do it. <laughs> just know that Daddy Mahomes is coming to y'all's town. He's, <laughs> he's, still, y he's, still, he's still talking about the football shit. <laughs> 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 Which I get back in the match, he's like, there's no, at this player right here, he's coming for y'all. <laughs> like, right. we coming for you. Hey, 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 I didn't go that far now. Oh, again. Devil, devil just dropping elbows and feet and he's everything else. taking control of this match completely. Yeah, I mean, hell, I mean, obviously he had to do a cheap shot with it against his own brother. Now, with that said, the two, though, it's, it's a little bit of frustrations. Oh, and it looks like Justin's also a big fan of the late, great Eddie Guerrero with the three amigos the three to his amigos. own brother. Shades of D-Mob. And the uh, Eddie Guerrero with that. I, I'm still, I'm still gonna say Eddie Guerrero more than you. <laughs> hey, 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 In this, uh, in this are, great are, 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 are we allowed to move. say the other name? I can say two more names, but one of them I don't know if we're allowed to say. Bobby, no, I'm talking. <laughs> it's who I think it no. is. With the song starting like, nee, 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 nee. no, no. <laughs> hey, hey. No, what is the second one? <laughs> okay, okay, but we're, we're, we're forgetting this, uh, another guy. The uh, great Kurt Angle also used to hit the free amigos. Huh, he jokes on you. That's you suck. Oh, Chavo. Dun, dun, yep. dun. Uh, oh, shit. No. Ah, ah. Chavo will get us. <laughs> that was like an inverted uh, version uh, of it. Actually, it was like, uh, meh, Chavo, meh, meh. Actually, Chavo, Chavo. Chavo, shout out to you, buddy. I love you. Hope to see you, soon, you again Chavo. soon. Well, I, that, he's the reason I want to watch Iron Claw, because he actually taught uh, them about uh, mm -hmm. like the, the way they do it in the ring and shit. He so said, I do actually want to watch it. He said that uh, he said he said the one boy from uh, Shameless. He said he feels like he could actually be a legit wrestler. He said I can he see was that. Good. He yeah, said he was yeah, good. He said he had a natural gift for it. It's crazy how some people actually do that too. Because what is it? Uh, you guys know the guy from Scream, the guy that uh, Dewey, the police officer. Yeah. yeah, he was. He was actually. Uh, I think he was in the top fifty of the most indie, the most popular indie wrestlers. Like he had uh -huh. full on yeah. matches and everything. I don't remember his name right now, but shout out to the guy who played Dewey. We love you too. Uh -huh. I think his name is David, David Arquette. Don't shit, your, don't shit your pants again, Dewey. Stop it. Anyway. Wait, what? Wait, wait, oh. what? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, doesn't get a hair run off. Devil. I only get the Big two count. And, okay, well, at least Devil sells for his breath. <laughs> it was a bit suicide dive, but Devil took it. <laughs> I love how that's like the way our botches happen. It's just like they lightly get hit, they just go. <laughs> 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 that looks fucking stupid. I know. <laughs> it reminds me. It reminds me of the Jinder Mahal one at fucking Crown I Jewel. I know my boss probably not happy about that one. <laughs> All I can say is that Jinder Mahal, if you're watching, suck. <laughs> Go home. Gender. Oh, man. Gender, Gender Bender. Gender Bender. Oh, Iron okay. Gender Bender. Better than you. 
Dude, dude, honestly, I, I'm still pissed that they gave him a fucking title shot. All right. Like, like, we don't, we don't respect you here, gender. Any gender fans? At least, that, you, at least he didn't you. win. Yeah, he he almost. <laughs> That's the sad <laughs> thing. Fuck him, bitch. Oh, I was like straight to hell from straight Devil to, to Justin. Hell. That might be <laughs> it. One, two, One, two. No, no. surprisingly. Oh, shit. Bless you, God. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Okay, I have not seen this in forever, but Devil's looking to... Oh. And with that, with that... that I have not seen Devil hit Hell's Gate in over, God, I think nine years. All I'm going to say is you might want to speak to the... Uh, speak to Oh, what? Oh, wait, does he? Wow. Yeah. Ah, jokes on you. It's not a finisher. It's actually not. Point is, though, he was able to hit the Hell's Gate, and he has not hit that move in over nine years. But it looks like he's uh, showing that he's uh, ready to make people. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to hear from the War Machine. Uh -oh. oh yes! Oh, oh buddy! I've here, been waiting for this go. moment all night long. We've been waiting for this moment the entire time we've been here. D Mob has a couple things fueling him. D Mob isn't very excited about what went down at the uh, at the tourney. But let me tell you something. This ain't no tourney for them tag men. This ain't no fairy tale. This is going to start the war machine era. Now, Shane Henry, you've been out here running your mouth talking about how you're the best thing in PXT. You've been talking a big game, saying you climbed to the top. You can't just talk your way around. You gotta walk the walk. And walking means you gotta go through me. You think that you can just knock people down whenever you get the opportunity. But don't worry. I'm gonna beat that sense into you. I'm gonna put you over my shoulders. And I'm gonna set you up for a final verdict. And that's all you're gonna hear is one, two, three. <laughs> the big, big words from the war machine. Big big words from the second half of the war machines and big big words from D Mob himself. I just wanna say that promo almost almost made me cry. <laughs> yeah, that, that was beautiful. That beautiful man. <laughs> he made his dick hard. What? <laughs> made, my, made, my, made my gender my heart. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Well, that goes on to our next match. Oh wait, what's this? So, wait. so, so, so. Let me ask you. A oh god, dang it! I think it did it the other way. So, so, okay. so. Can I ask you a serious question before we get oh. into the next match? No, we gotta get in, Mister Sock. Oh, it looks like Shane. Oh wait, what's this? What's this right here? Oh, it looks like. Looks like. Oh, it looks like Slade. <laughs> Oh, Adonis! So it looks like Slade said he can match craziness too, motherfucker! Oh, shit! I'll be honest with y'all! So, originally... <laughs> breaking fourth wall. It was supposed to be reversed, but honestly, that's even better! Because <laughs> that's him saying, you want to get crazy, bitch? I'll get crazy too! <laughs> Holy both shit! Big moves. You know, both men. It's showing that they're both oh on equal, goodness. equal fucking levels of intelligence here right now. Whoa, whoa! Wasn't that Shane Harry's tag team partner? No, that was a Oh well, it looks like the the, the, the move hits again. That yeah, was Adonis. Why Adonis? Honestly, well, Shane was originally scheduled with a one-on-one -on -one match against Adonis. Shane wanted to show off that there's a lot more to him than meets the eye. So he was going to go against a guy that beat G7. Um, but with that said, though, 
<laughs> With that said, though, I, I know for a fact Michael Slade also just doesn't respect Adonis because of that one way he defeated C. Jill. So hell, I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty valid. And this match is already and, off to a fiery and plus, start. He just wanted an opportunity to kick Shane Harry's ass before the tag team title match. Oh yeah, because pretty much that tag team title match is going to be between both. Now, I also want to point out right now, the only two that are sort of like not even in with this whole shtick is technically Flo and D. Well, D. Mop's somewhat in it. No, not somewhat. He is in it. Uh, Flo though, Flo has sort of been uh... absent. So, yeah. So my question for you, Cyclone, is who do you see coming out at on top for that PXT a, title? A big clothesline. A tag team that title. That is an excellent question. I'll be 100% honest with you. I also fucked up. But, um, because I just remembered something, I'll say it in a second. So, uh, between the two, honestly, I could see it go either way, really. Because the War Machines, I think, have it in them to put down the Outcast. But at the same time, the Outcast, I don't know, man. They were able to put down the likes of like Rocky Mercado and Mox still around, but uh, well, they hey, did. I don't know. I, I, I've been hearing stories that D Mob has upped his arsenal of moves. So I have heard the same, but you want to know what I think about it? Blah, blah, no, I'm joking. <laughs> All fucked up. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, honestly, uh, I think both both teams are well. I would say more of the War Machines are ready and fit for possibly picking up the win. Mainly because, like I said, Flo hey, just let, has been let, absent. Let, let, let's not forget that D-Mob has been a well-decorated tag team champion numerous places. Once undefeated, the longest reigning HCV tag team, one half of the longest reigning HCV tag team champions of all time. <sighs> Two years straight, undefeated with his tag team partner Dustin Jeffries, the enforcers. Shout out. But now, with that said though, they he is tag team partnered uh, with Michael Slade this time around. Don't be wrong, the two are dynamic, but I do also gotta throw this out here. There is a difference between both teams. One technically did win one, two, three for their title shot. The War Machines, well, sadly did not. They had to do the ring out count, which I do understand that Slade is still pissed that they took that way to get the victory. But with that said, too, I mean, they still took it. So if anything, I would say that if it's ready for fight wise, I could see the outcast probably getting it. Oh, shit. When did he join? <laughs> when the fuck did he join? <laughs> Just showed up. <laughs> I generally didn't I even mean, see him get in here. How did oh, it's because my nobody it's, invited magic. Hey, Bob oh, it's because my banner's off. That's why. That's why I didn't see him on. Okay, because I had to turn it off. Everyone's been messaging me. <laughs> Rocky, why are you saying like that, man? My guys, match happened. Yes, it did. No. Oh no, okay. it's because I, I was gonna say because uh, Daniels is also on the thing too. Oh, he's messaging me a lot from it. Um. No, I, I didn't message you. So, 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 oh, no, so, Daniel Shane, did. so, so, yeah. so, Shane, let, let me ask you, without, without a biased opinion, how Bias? do you, see, how do you see the, the, the tag team championship match going between the Outcast and the War Machines? <laughs> Who's coming out on top? Oh, I feel like it's going to be close, but the Outcast will probably pull it out. Maybe. Ooh. I'm just so are, you say, are you saying that with bias, or are you saying that with I'm honesty? saying that with honesty. Or like, oh. Well, see, that's where I did have to throw that out there, too. Because, like I said, the Outcast have... They have a win to where they've earned it. Like, one, two, three. Like, they didn't do the ring out count thing because they couldn't. But the War Machines did have to do that type of victory. Now, with that said, too... Shane is oh well look at okay well uh we're seeing we're seeing disrespect here from Shane oh, to no. Michael Slade with his own double verdict Oh no One you're showing more every week 
You know, Shane's not holding anything back. He, he does not respect Michael Slade, and I sure as hell, we can confirm from the promo that we heard earlier tonight, he sure as hell does not respect the War Machines. He really doesn't. And now, oh! This is a big elbow. Slade up now. Slade not happy with what happened earlier, and now gets Shane up for a final verdict! Oh, wait, no, 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 it's not done. It's not done. The second one. No, the it second. is oh. double verdict. Is that it? One, one. Two. 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 No, Shane no. kicks out. Dan was able to kick out, but Slade's not holding anything back. Does Slade have any more left in the tank? Now, oh, oh, Slade was going for a top rope maneuver. Shane, though, catching him. Oh, my God. Big maneuver from Shane. Can he capitalize on that? Oh, big. Shane doing phenomenal work against the likes. You know, okay, Shane is capitalizing pretty well against Michael Slade. That little. Say that he's in control. Got it. Shane is in control of this match you right here, right you. now. Shane's somehow in control I, of this match. Shane's in control. He's in control. He's in control. He's in control. He's in control. He's. In, oh, I guess it doesn't work if you just spam it. Hey, it's a test. <laughs> All right, well, right now, Shane. Shane is in control of this match. <laughs> <laughs> to where Slade is really struggling now. I think it's showing who's who's a little bit more uh, I can't say right. unorthodox, who's more unhinged at this point with this rivalry. Slade might be in a hairy situation. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, but Slade might be in a hairy Slade. situation, but we've seen him we've seen him in the types of situations before. Yeah, oh, he, got, he, he got caught in an avalanche AA, dude, and somehow he was still able to pick up the win. Yeah. And, and he gets double verdict from that, too. You know, Michael Slade is a force, honestly. A force to be reckoned with. Shane, though, I mean, hell, I gotta be honest. He, I, he has impressed the shit out of me as well as of late. Hell, he picked up the tag team titles, but now the question is, can he successfully defend the tag team titles at PXT Rush? That's a good question. And we but still haven't decided the match type for that match yet. This could just will. be a stipulation match, maybe. I feel like probably I feel not. Like two, two I just three fall you know. or an Iron Man. Ooh. Oh no, trust me, I have something for, for you guys. After Iron well, Man. Oh, I, well, I believe that's what uh, we're now officially making this match. This match will be the stipulation tag team match. So whoever Iron wins Man. will name the stipulation. Ooh. After Ooh, this Slade, match, you better fuck it, whoever buddy. wins, Jake or Slade, will be. Oh, it is either a, a choice here tonight. All right now, Slade. Is getting the well, Slade was getting an advantage, but Shane coming back at it with a wheelbarrow DDT, and now Shane looking to possibly put down Slade, but Slade getting out of danger. Oh. Come on, an old fashioned. Oh, catches him in a brain buster. Shades of his tag partner. Oh, the Shane's DMLB. not. Shane's not done either. Shane's getting Slade up. Oh wait, no, Slade not having it and gets him with a step suplex. No well, more of a suplex, but either way, gets him right now. Slade in control. You Fuck. <laughs> I won't buy. Man, it is a fucking curse. Then it is a fucking curse I have with that word because he immediately sweep the leg when I said it. It literally just comes. It just comes naturally when I say it, man. Stop saying it. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's hard, man. <laughs> it's generally hard. <laughs> Shane is in control of the match right now. For some reason it doesn't work on Shane's guys. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> I think it's what? because I'm intent. I think it's because I'm intentionally doing it. And it doesn't work. It has to be like actual <laughs> fate. It has to be actual fate that does it. Oh, Shane catching with a big frog splash to the outside. 
Another move that he just steals from Rocky just to show more disrespect. I know, cause shit, right now, Shane, uh, Shane has already shown that he has no respect for Slade, but Slade, I think is also showing that he's not showing any type of respect for Shane Henry here tonight. Oh, big pile driver yeah, right don't, there. Don't, don't say a damn word. Just say it. <laughs> right now. Yeah. See, I didn't even That's say funny. it, and Shane oh, was no. able to reverse. All right, and it looks like Shane getting him up and it looks like we're about to see assassin's creed Scratch right there I that up. I is that it one one two, two three with that shane henry ah. has won the match and wins the stipulation for pxt rush uh that's your choice <laughs> Oh, wait, Shane, yelling for them to give him a mic. <laughs> ah! Oof. Oh, fuck. Oh, that hurt. Fuck. Fuck you, Slade. It's here. Ah! You know what? Let's have some fun with this. War machines? Oh, ah, that hurt. Make it a hardcore match. Looks like Slade is just smiling about the stipulation. Oh, Slade looks happy about it, actually. Shit. Question is, was that probably going to be what Slade was going to pick, too? He looks happy as hell about it, Frank. God damn. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, I believe now... It's still not the time, but uh, it is on to our next match. Uh, so, Draven has not just appeared here in PXT. He's also appeared in MTW. That also, we'll be he will be appearing tonight at EHW. Link in the bio. Which actually is starting in a little bit, and we're actually close to ending our show, so we might be able to actually make it. Um, maybe. Oh, sure. but, cool. Yeah, because I think he said it starts at 7.30, so we might be able to make it. Well, we'll probably be late by a little bit. Either way, uh, Draven has not had success, but tonight uh, he has asked for the biggest and toughest to show that he does mean business here in PXT. So, with that said, I decided to give him a surprise opponent. Like, oh, dude, you're fucking Seth Rollins shit. What the fuck? Oh, yes. <laughs> That's another one. Put it on the board. Oh, there's another one. That's like what? 10? Probably. I'm happy one. About this one. You don't understand how happy I am about this one. Wait, wait, what do you mean 10? You mean the surprises? <laughs> no, no, I'm talking no, about like, no. the Seth, Seth Rollins, Rollins Anyway, oh, you guys oh, don't yeah. understand how happy I am about this next match here. Why are you so happy? Man? Draven, you'll the... See. You'll see. Turkish okay. giant. Honestly, I still gotta update the entrance because for some reason it didn't save when I updated the fucking entrance. Goddamn. Raven, the Turkish Butcher. <laughs> One of the IWF Hardcore Champion. Longest reigning Hardcore Champion ever oh. to step foot in the IWF ring. I want to take a nap in his beard. <laughs> you weirdo. <laughs> Look, man, it looks fucking comfy. Fuck you. Listen, all. <laughs> there's one thing you don't call this man. Great ape. Do not call him that A name. A bitch. Ball. Oh. <laughs> oh wait. Braun Strowman just. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. the door's oh, back. Waiting for? Yes. Oh. Goodness. No the man himself, himself, the immovable object. We have not seen Desmond Lord. He's back. The floodgates have opened and he has come back. Oh my goodness. We have not seen Desmond Flood since his defeat at PXT Carnage. He's 
Yeah. And how many how many weeks ago was that? Or maybe that's, a month? Has it, it's almost been two month? months. It's almost been two months. Oh my god. Damn. We got two returns here tonight. Two big returns. Flood and tubular. Is Michael Wolf or Demon scheduled tonight? Uh no. Uh, there's there's reasons on that. Oh, this yeah, yeah, is yeah, actually yeah. our second to last. Uh, in other words, we are down. Our next one will be our uh, main event. That's what I was saying. We might actually make it, but then I, got, I forgot. Desmond walks so goddamn slow. <laughs> there is not much I can say about a man like Desmond. But... That's all I got to say. Well, I mean, the question on everybody's mind is is there going to be some ring rust there? I doubt it. I highly I doubt, doubt it. it as well. Especially when we, we see McBone and how he picked up a victory. Look, I got, I got to throw this out here. For two months again. A man like Desmond. Does he got to do this? No, so no. So, I want to point out something here. This man has only lost once. Ever. And the only man, the only two men that have actually come, one has come close and the other had put him away. Rocky and C. Jill. Yeah. Those are the only two that actually gave Desmond everything they got, but also pushed Desmond to give everything he has. Do we have any more medical news on Rocky on Uh, as far as I know, he is just resting in the hospital right now. Uh, he, from what we mentioned earlier, he did talk to, uh, Alexia Jimenez, who, uh, no, is still pissed off and is, uh, causing a racket in the back, but you know what, I think she's fine. Yeah, um, yeah. She kicked me in the balls, but you know what, I'm fine. Uh, uh, no, she totally did. She totally did, you know. Look, You're she kicked me in the balls. There was a moment. You I was talking like this, but I'm fine. Trust me. Don't, <laughs> Don't worry, worry, guys. She'll, she'll calm down as soon as she eats something. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to get uh, our MTW champion on you. Don't you worry. All right, my now. I want to point out both these men are pretty. Fu oh, actually, no. I think Draven's taller. We are well, by, by inches, <laughs> by inches. That's not going to be an issue here for Desmond okay. Flood. We've seen. I don't know, man. Big man. Draven is a powerhouse. Draven but that's the thing. Is that's the thing. <laughs> he is a tank, but he hasn't gone against the likes of Desmond Flood. The thing is with Desmond, and I had to embrace this about the man, is he's very. Weird. <laughs> He's this just a weird competitor. Is a competitor. Big time. Like I said, he's only lost once here. Not even in the PXT shows, but he lost in our big show. So technically, when it comes to PXT wise, he hasn't been defeated. But then same thing can be said fun. about C. Jill, but I'm still gonna count it. <laughs> I still find crazy how we have a guy named Wildfly Fire and a guy named Flood. Fly? Hey, that's my. Hey, he is a fly. Hey, Wildfire, if you're watching, you are a fly, my friend. Yeah. Cyclone. What's up? You're just you kinda... lie. You said you never seen that uh, front suplex. Desmond Flood just did it. No, I never seen y'all do that front suplex. Oh, I've always, dude. That's all. Like, I haven't I'm seen. I haven't hurt. seen it from the CPUs, Rocky. man. <laughs> Rocky. The front suplex, isn't it one of my bread and butter moves? It's on all my characters, ain't it? Oh, it's on your characters. I don't think I've yeah. seen it, though, on, like, them uh, to actually pull it off. It's the, uh, same thing with, it's the same thing with Slade and the bionic elbow. He has it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, I have a lot of moves that's, like, on a lot of my characters and shit. But I consider those my bread and butters. You know what I'm saying? I'd no, say, I like, got my, you. No, I just haven't seen it. My bread and butter move that I actually haven't used on anybody. The Hangman Spike DDT. Dude, I can't oh, wait damn. for the new fucking Michael Wolf. Uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen. No, like, Michael Wolf. Uh, the Spike DDT is actually one of my favorite moves. The, uh, the one that Randy uh, does. I will, I will make yeah. an announcement after this match about concerning Michael Wolf. Haha, uh -huh, too Michael, bad. It's not uh, happening because we have something else after the match. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, smooth. Smooth says he's got Draven, but I don't. I don't know, smooth. Desmond. Desmond is is one hell of a competitor, but so yeah, is I don't, Draven. 
Yeah. The oh, wait, but he hits the Draven oh. power bomb. Is that enough to put Desmond Why out? Is Draven, why does Draven get so close and comfortable? It's the Draven bomb. bomb. Why is Draven bomb? Right. That's an interesting position, Ethan. Look, man. It's true. It's he's he's very Turkish. No, it's shit. He really is just broad. He is a Turkish. Turkish style wrestler. He believes in Turkish strong style. Now, with that said, though, I mean, how he's giving a, he's actually is giving his own against Flood because Flood actually does hold his like matches pretty well. Oh wait, oh, but catches Draven going to the top. Oh god. Why do our giants go to the top in general? Like Oh, but catches him with a springboard catching stunner. Draven immediately gets up though. And Desmond immediately drops him. That's what I'm saying. From I am I'm, I'm actually going for Desmond on this one only because we've seen him. He's a monster. He's a Nothing. legit monster. Draven <laughs> scares me. So He's just Turkish bronze. And catches him with a big I, discus. I, I oh. Oh. Much, yeah. That's. Nah, I'm not even there. He calls that the drown and flood. That makes no sense. Lead the way. Drown in the. Drowning. <laughs> yeah. No, because I know, I know he has another one as well. Um, I just forgot the actual thing I'm of it. I'm calling it open the floodgates. I don't care. That's floodgates. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we'll call it floodgates. You know, that's actually a way better one than I had. <laughs> I think he has a. Oh, he catches him with a top rope splash right now. Desmond going for a pin off Draven. Whoa. Draven able to kick out though. Here's what I'm talking oh, about though. Desmond. <laughs> Desmond can fucking hold his own against practically anybody, but this is the first time he's meeting somebody to like even his height. Hell, actually challenge his height. Oh, he catches him with a big springboard drop kick, and right now, Blood is purely taking control of this match. No. Oh fuck, I said it. <laughs> God damn it. Dude, I'm telling you, I don't I I did. Oh. Huh? Jokes on you. He still has he still has the advantage. Let's the show start in 7 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're probably going to miss it. Yeah, Well, I was going to say uh Dima, if you want to yeah, if you want to go ahead and like hop over there uh when you can cuz yeah, we get I'm not leave I won't leave until Oh wow. Oh wow. D Draven <laughs> fucking doing some exercises using fucking Desmond Flood for it. <laughs> Hold on. And both men just squaring up on each other. Both men just squaring up against each other saying they're gonna get back in the fucking ring. Damn, you wanna be a crazy fucking tag team and be unorthodox <laughs> that's fuck? Desmond and Draven. That'd be a crazy ass fucking tag team. You wanna know one hell of a. Oh! Oh! Drown in the deep! He's making. He's trying to drown! Draven! And it's set for a pin! And he just caused Draven to drown! He drowned. Draven drowned. Drowned. And his own. What? Holy shit. Oh my it's like God. I've said many times before, and I'll say it again: this man will never be conquered. The floodgates have opened, and this is his playground. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, now time. We started off tonight with a promo from uh, Smooth Marino. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, by the way. Now, from what I have heard, apparently. His opponent at PXT Rush has a response. Oh. Oh my. My name is Electro. I am the self proclaimed. <laughs> Scratch that. I am the Triple Crown Champion of Wrestling. <laughs> ah!
That third crown's gonna come soon. But I gotta look ahead of PXT Rush. Smooth Morino. Oh, what's there to say about this man? The earliest signing of PXT to keep my title warm for me for one damn day. Uh, that's uh, that's a joke. I mean, what happened after that, Smooth? What happened after that? You lost and lost and lost and lost. Hell, you even tapped out at one time against a man that barely shows up here in PXT. Well, you want to know what I did? I won and won and won and then I picked up what's rightfully mine. Now, admit you got lucky at Frost. But with that said, you always choke on the big matches. Hell, let's look at the NTW tourney that happened this past Friday. You didn't even make it out of the qualifiers. Me, I went all the way to the end and I crushed the dreams of one man. I made his storybook fairy tale ending end at the finals and I picked up what now I'm claiming is rightfully mine, the MTW World Heavyweight Championship. I don't see you as a threat. You said I was gonna stare death in the face. I don't see death. I see a step. You're not a challenge, you're not an obstacle. You are nothing more than a step of me continuing my long reign as PXT champion. I look forward to seeing you at Rush so I can give you another L. Uh, oh. Oh! Oh! Okay! Okay, you like her! Some, some, some really, really strong words from Electro. Electro have done gruesome nuts, I like it. God damn. Oh my uh, God. Now the question is can he back it up? <laughs> what? That is, that is a bigger question. I mean, we, we cannot forget that this man has gone this has been so many people. Uh, I went. <laughs> uh, what did you do? What did you do? So, I put it back on what we originally had planned, right? So, here's the thing break your fourth wall. Um,. We, we, we used to have an animation set up and it, it sets up to where Electrope's going to have a random opponent. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Dude, I would hate uh -oh. to be John Winners right now. Dima. <laughs> Dima. No, it's John. It's John Winners. Oh God! <laughs> I, think, I think we should do a re-roll on that one. No. I don't think I don't think I can. I don't know how what? to. What? Come on! I, 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 genuinely, I genuinely don't. I don't have control of who it picks. <laughs> this is what I made him vent. This is what made him fucking vent. Well, listen. Listen, unfortunately, that DMOB has to go live at EHW because I have prior obligations. I Come check out Cool BP12 live <laughs> on Twitch and see the DMOB in a free on one handicap match. And also, you might see some PXC superstars in the EHW Rumble. So come on over and check it out. There's a link to it at the bottom of the description of this live stream. We will see y'all later. Come check your EHW out on Twitch. After this Oh, show. man. Quick, <laughs> back to the action, though, because, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I put out a listing, boys, in the back on who wanted to be in this thing. Wait. Wait, what was it? Uh huh. Motherfucking Mox! <laughs> God damn it, Mox. I, I put out a fucking listing on who wants to face Electro, and apparently Mox threw in John Winner's name. <laughs> you know, you know, you wanna know who I think is behind this? It's, the, it's that damn wolf pack. This little motherfucker. <laughs> what the f- So now- <laughs> What? Dude, what the fuck, Mox? 
Rocks. The fact that Roxy, that little son of a bitch, is in a hospital bed and still has the time to crack jokes with his partner. <laughs> Both the, the wolf pack, the wolf pack just fucked over John when he was here. <laughs> In the best way ever! Oh my god! Well, then again, maybe, maybe Castle, maybe Castle had to go to another probationary here. Yeah. Oh my god! My girlfriend, Judith Cycle. I don't have a girlfriend. My god! Whoa! Whoa! No! Fucking well, winner's uh. Winner's actually coming down. He he looks he looks confident. Dude, Electro, you saw Electro, go easy on him. That's a that's a that's an old man. I mean, oh man. I'm not gonna say anything bad about John Winters. I mean, John Winters used to be he, he was in the gold. Holy clubs. shit! Wait, wait. How tall is Winters? He just went over the top rope. I mean, Winters used to be in the Golden Gloves when he was a young man. Yeah, Paul. Does he? <gasps> that, that he? He seems a little off. He likes fruit. I'm just gonna say with that. <laughs> but I will say I, I've seen a little bit about I've seen a little bit about um John Winters' career well, as a. A, uh, oh wait, oh, oh, oh winners, okay, throwing off Electro here, a little bit, catches him with like a running catch knee, but Electro immediately uh, comes back. Yeah, it's Electro, like, come on. This is an old man. Oh, look at that, Electro going for, uh, going for a cross face. Um, right out of the gate, face. got the damn LaBelle lock locked in. Oh wait! Oh wait! Oh wait! Winners! Winners! Winners, Winners. Winners. Winners actually holding his own. I don't think Electro was taking him seriously, and I think now it's costing him. Can we see? Can, can we see a repeat of what happened with Mox? Oh God! Good. <laughs> like just dies due to. Yeah, no. Because I want to point out, though, he did not come out with the NTW Championship. He is right now. The PXT champion and MTW World Heavyweight Champion. So right now, Electro yeah. is already a double crown champion. He just needs one more. It doesn't matter what promotion, PXT or MTW, will still be a triple crown. Winners, winners has been fucking up Electro, but I think Electro might have finally had enough. <laughs> Electro now, was Ele just playing. Electro was just giving winners a bit of hope, and now he's going to shut it down here. Damn, can you imagine a winner somehow wins? <laughs> that would, like, that would kill would all the hype. Surprised. That would kill the hype Which of the, like, winners, rush. Then... There's, there's a bit... There's, there's a, yeah, <laughs> there's a big oh ass God, line. There's a big ass wins, line for the PXC Championship. retires the same fucking night. <laughs> Want to point out? This, this is this is breaking the fourth wall here. Electro, like the guys have downloaded Electro and had him like just simulate matches. He has beaten like the likes of Roman Reigns and shit, yeah. and and he loses to fucking John Winners. <laughs> that would be fucking just hilarious. Just a talent. At this point, man. Just a talent. <laughs> Winners is holding his own though. That's the crazy thing. What the fuck? He just screamed one cross kicked him. Okay. <laughs> he's just he he <laughs> winners, winners is, he's seen war. He's like, oh, flashbacks. <laughs> well, Vietnam's I mean, coming back. I mean, Winters, in, when he was a younger man, was in was a mixed martial artist. I mean, it's yeah, no, I can see it. Man, okay, Electro really wants to hit this crossface now. Man, really wants to make winners taps Honor, out. Honor, we gotta, we gotta check his pee real quick. We gotta check. I his think. Pee uh, this match. I, I think. You leave, you leave that old man alone. You do not touch his pee. Well, I think what it is is that Electro was trying to maybe give him a mercy by tapping out, but. <laughs> oh shit! Oh wait. He's he... wrestling in a suit. Oh, winners dodges the lightning talent. What? What the. Holy shit! So you're telling me the legs? Dude, are he's Master wrestling. Roshi. <laughs> the legs Master Roshi. Roshi. <laughs> the legs Master Roshi. Roshi. Counter it, but like John Winters can. That's oh cool. wait, oh, but he can't. He can't dodge one crown. Oh god. 
two crown. Two crown. There it is, ladies and gents. I believe we're about to see the triple crown moonsault. Here it is. One, two. No, winners kicks out. Believe it or not. One of the. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, winners just hit a spear out of nowhere off a fucking electro. One, two. Electro kicks out. Oh, okay. Wow. God. Oh, and Winners fucking does an outside dive and takes out Electro. Someone check on this man. <laughs> this this <laughs> old man. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Check his hips. We sure he I needs can't. Castle? We sure never, he needs uh, Castle? I never, I never do. <laughs> oh, he mean game of like outside dives and shit. <laughs> I will genuinely laugh my ass off if Winners wins this. Dude, Winter's Alex. Winter's literally a default mindset. <laughs> I, I will laugh my ass off if it wins. <laughs> well, Electro, Electro, Electro just, is, is just sends him flying around. Whee! With a monkey flip. But you have to call it, you have to call it the monkey. <laughs> yeah, you have to call it the monkey. I know, Electro was like full on stomping away yeah, off of winners. Winners, though, not having it no more. Man, can you imagine? I swear, dude, if he wins, I swear I will laugh my ass off. I will legitimately. This, this has to be a fever dream. <laughs> what did I drink, man? <laughs> he's actually, he's actually getting fucked up right now. Oh no, he's, he's generally getting fucked up right now. Did they ever get into my room? Oh my god, he got hit with a rolling, rolling fucking elbow. Electro's getting his ass whooped by an old man. This is why you don't underestimate your elders, kids. This is why you don't underestimate your elders. Mommy, what did that hooker put in my drink? You know what? I might actually just start calling him Master Roshi. That's his new name. Master Winters. Master Winters. Oh, Electro, go going for an outside dive off Mr. Winters here. The warden about to claim his yard. <laughs> God, what would that do for him? Actually, he like he just bids <laughs> the PXD <laughs> champion. Can you fucking oh 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 um oh oh he's busted open. Winners oh, is busted oh. open. The Vietnam oh, flashbacks are coming to life. <laughs> the Vietnam flashbacks are coming back. That's stupid. That's stupid. Come on. That's like that's stupid. <laughs> Electro getting him back in the ring. Let's let's go, Winters. He's not winning this. <laughs> I will laugh my ass off if he does. <laughs> oh, gets Kai in the lightning talon. That's One, that's the end of it. two, that's, that's the end. two, three. three. There we go. <laughs> and Electro picks up the win. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he got his. He, he was getting his ass whooped by an old man. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh wait, smooth. Make his way. And now attacks Electro from behind. Smooth coming to save John Winters. Oh wait, wait. Oh wait. Smooth's not done. Smooth laying Electro down with the PXC that's Championship. That's just disrespectful. Come on, man. That shit was uh, that shit was funny. That was our main event. The mob. What? what did you hear? Tell me. Tell 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 the tell the class what you heard. I I heard what was going on in your hotel room last night. Talking. You you know what I'm talking about. Wait, wait, I, was I, he not I conscious? Wait, was he not conscious? I'm not I mean, Um, I mean, it was wet when I got up. What are you, what are you, what are you referring to? It was wet in the bed. I'm when not, I got I'm, up. I'm, I thought uh, I pissed myself. Uh, I thought about Michael Floyd. I thought I pissed myself. No. Uh, uh, um. Should we tell him? Should we? Should we? Should we legit tell him? What? Um. What are you talking about. So. You are one heavy ass fucking sleeper. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, actually, you know what? This is a better question. Um, did you did you talk to Ava and have like possible drinks with her before uh, before you like went up to went up to your room? You took me to Denny's. Did you drink anything around her? Gave me orange juice. Fuck. 
Um, so. Come to think of it. Busted. So we're going to have a meeting. <laughs> no, no, no. Let me talk to her. It's okay. I'll, I'll deal with it. I'm, um, I'm my own man. I can do it. I don't think you understand what happened to you, Slade. <laughs> I do. Full heartedly. But I, I think she just needs to be talked to. That, that's all. We can just talk uh, about it. My brother, uh, she, she stole your she stole your semen. <laughs> Did she? Sir. Sir. You, you, she, you, you, she. How should I say this? Um, Come on. How well do you know Bill Cosby? <laughs> Come on. She's just a fan. Dude, she legit roofied you, took you to your room, and rode you to where she was yelling to where everyone in the hotel heard, man. That's why we're sh that's why we were shocked that you didn't remember this shit, because we thought you were the one we're giving cutting, it to her. We're cutting this. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised you didn't catch it, that's what it was setting up! <laughs> we're cutting this. This didn't happen. We don't ever speak about Again. <laughs> 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 oh fuck, dude! First it was, oh, first it was the bitch from the TW. Now it's this stupid shit. <laughs>